These are the kinds of diamonds you might want your special someone to buy you. But in this machine in Hasselt, Belgium, researchers are making different kinds of diamonds. They're synthetic and their creators say they're the smallest in the world. But that's not the only amazing thing about them. Basically, nano diamond or diamond contains practically only carbon atoms. The purity is basically amazing. It's, uh, well, I'd say 10,000 times better than any natural stone. These nano diamonds aren't visible to the naked eye. They're 100,000 times smaller than the width of a human hair. They're made up of only 26 carbon atoms, the absolute minimum for a diamond. And they're not made for jewelry. Instead, they're a breakthrough for biomedical research. Hundreds of extremely pure nano diamonds can be inserted into a living cell, and with lasers, scientists can learn more than they've ever been able to before about the chemical makeup. That could mean faster detection of diseases. You can use nano diamond to deliver a drug inside the, the cell, or you can, for example, uh, deliver the, the particle inside the cell and then locate it for bioimaging. Another use for these diamonds is in quantum technology. The race is on to find the best material to further reduce the size of chips for computers and phones. Because these nano diamonds can operate at room temperature rather than only in the cold, they could be a huge leap forward in this field. The new discovery of this diamond has been done in collaboration with universities around the world. The researchers here in Hasselt are using this machine to try and scale it up. Firstly, for research reasons, and then later on, perhaps, for commercial ones. But there's still a problem. Despite having grown hundreds of these diamonds, the scientists don't know exactly how they're doing it. There's kind of black magic around fabrication or nucleation, nucleation diamond, basically, how to initiate the growth. This is a kind of black magic. Nobody knows exactly, so there are a lot of theories, but nobody prove it. There's lots more to be discovered, but these diamonds could soon become science's new best friend. Jack Parrick's TRT World, Hasselt, Belgium.